Welcome back, Mitch. Mr. Amir Khan and Mr. Kell Brook. After what seems like a decade of arch rivalry, bad blood, and just a basic dislike for each other, they were able to get in the ring last night and finally settle their differences. It was a decent fight, I will admit, considering these guys are probably a little bit beyond their prime they did the best they can i did notice mr amir khan being very evasive in the beginning not looking to fully engage with mr brook for obvious reasons i think kel brook being a stronger man inside would give mr amir khan some trouble as the fight proceeded if i was to say someone was actually dictating the pace i couldn't but i believe kel brook was landing the more telling punches throughout the exchanges. What I really didn't expect was the referee intervening in such a manner that had a significant outcome and effect on the fight. Now I totally understand the job of a referee. He is attempting to please the crowd, the promoters, the boxers, and everyone else by his decisions he make. But I do believe he was a bit premature in the stoppage for these reasons. Number one, Kel Brook, although being the aggressor, every punch wasn't landing while Amir Khan was in his defensive shell. I understand referees usually say, hey, show me something, I'm going to have to stop the fight, but I don't even think it was on that level yet. Anyway, my belief and opinion is, after waiting so long for these two gentlemen to get in the ring, like I said, possibly close to a decade, I believe the outcome of the fight should have been left more up to Mr. Brook and Mr. Khan. And I would have liked to see a more natural outcome. But, like I said, referee's got a job to do and he's got to keep everybody safe and healthy. During the final press conference, Mr. Amir Khan did reveal that he is retiring. And I expect Mr. Kell Brook in the near future, possibly the very near future, to announce his retirement also. They've had great careers. They've made a lot of money. They're somewhat still intact mentally and physically, and I think this is a good time to retire from boxing before boxing retires you.